Hey guys, it's Andrew. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick video. Um, I had my top surgery consultation with Dr. Paul Weiss today in New York City, um, 86th Street. So I'm just giving you a little update about that. Um, it went really well. Uh, he was super friendly. Uh, I was very anxious going in. Um, I'm usually just an anxious uh, anxious, awkward patient, um, but he was totally cool. He, um, he was telling jokes, you know, to calm me down. I mean, I wasn't having a panic attack, but he could tell I was uncomfortable. He's super friendly, super nice. Um, so first, uh, first off, I, I went there and, um, he explained to me a little bit about, you know, the procedure and uh, he asked me some questions about my gender identity, how long um, did I consider myself transgender, um, you know, just regular stuff, asking medical history and stuff. Uh, what was really cool was um, when he came in, I introduced myself uh, by my uh, birth name. Um, and then he was like, okay, well, I know you don't want to be known as that. What's your real name? So I told him Andrew, and he addressed me as Andrew for the rest of the visit. So that was that was pretty cool. Um, so then, um, you know, I uh, put a gown on. Uh, I had to take off, you know, my top clothes and stuff. And he examined me. He measured my chest. Um, he measured my chest while you know explaining more about you know in detail about the procedures. Um, so yeah, so then he measured me and he wrote stuff down and, um, so then he started explaining about, uh, what happens with the nipples in, during the, uh, surgery. So basically there's two options. One, um, is the one that he says he prefers to go with if he can, uh, where the nipple stays connected to the muscle so that you, uh, continue to have sensation in your you know nipples or whatever and then the other one is a nipple graft which is where if the breasts are you know it's too the, if your breasts are too large then they have to take off the nipple and reattach it in an appropriate place from his measurements um, he said I'm borderline and uh, he says that um, the day of the surgery, uh, when I'm on the table, is when he'll make the call. He he wants to try to keep you know the nipple connected, but if he can, he's gonna have to do uh, the nipple graft. So he asked me questions and everything. Um, then he he answered a bunch of questions that I had. Um, he also brought a binder and um, he brought a binder and had a lot of before and after pictures. Um, and his work looks really, really good. Um, the only thing that I, that kind of that I was kind of taken aback about um, was that uh, you know they they were the post op pictures or the after pictures they were still pretty raw, like fresh, uh, you know, and um, and so you know like on Instagram and in in YouTube and stuff when I see trans guys and they're post op with their chest, they're Oh, they've been post up for a while and everything's healed up and they're usually fit because you know they work out you know and these guys it was the pictures were just from the um, neck down and these guys were like me they had my body type chubby and um, at first I, I was a little bit discouraged by that but then the thing is when it comes to you know when it comes to top surgery and, and stuff like that the doctor could only do so much you have to do the rest uh, you know, like they remove the breasts, but then you have to go to the gym. You have to work out. You have to get those pecs. Those guys that you know, I, I constantly see pictures. They work really hard to get the bodies that they have. So you have to, you know, keep going. I had to remind myself that. Um, so yeah. Um, the only thing that worried me was um, he said that uh, he doesn't have a lot of. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of experience um, with patients with my insurance and uh, he's not sure, you know, like, um, he's not sure about, you know, how the insurance will go about 
you know, approving my surgery, he said some insurance companies even uh, have you on hormones. They, they make you wait an entire year. You have to live as a man for an entire year before they even uh, approve the top surgery, which that's kind of discouraging. But um, I'm hoping that with, you know, working out and losing weight and the hormones would make my chest smaller. If that's the case, I don't know. I might be approved. Um, and, and, and I'll just have to, uh, you know, keep, uh, binding and, and it, it sucks, but, um, I just have to roll with it. Um, so yeah, <sighs> there's a lot to take in. There's a lot of information to take in, but it was, it was, it was good. And, uh, so I'll keep you guys updated, uh, anything else. What I have to do now, the next step is, uh, I have to get my letters for uh, mental health providers to give them to my insurance to see if they approve it. And that's going to take a while. So the absolute, I'm, I'm thinking the absolute fastest that I would get the surgery would be spring. So we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, any updates with anything. So yeah, as usual, like, comment, subscribe. And uh, I'll keep uh, making these videos. Thank you for watching and uh, spending the last six and a half minutes with me. Bye.